What is going on fellow Pokemon card collecting enthusiasts? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing five complete WotC holo sets in PSA 9 that I've collected over the years. Uh, I got this handy dandy case here, and the first four sets are uh, located in here. Uh, it's a really, really nice case. Shout out to my buddy Brian for picking this up for me. Uh, couldn't be happier with the case. Uh, so yeah, this is the first set, second set, third set, and fourth set. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and bring it over to the desk for the next portion of this video. Okay, now that we got all of the cards out of the case, we can start showing them off. So I really don't show my collection off too often. Uh, I like to just show what's coming in that day and what's going out that day. Uh, but so this will be just a little nice change of pace for the channel. Let me know if you like this down in the comments and if you'd like to see more of my collection. Uh, so I have the first 12 binders uh, completed, or sorry, 12 sets in binders completed. Uh, but this is just the hollows uh, from base set, jungle, fossil, base set two, and then one mystery one over here. I mean, you can kind of see the card right there. So if you know the sets, you know what set that is. So first up, we have Alakazam. If you didn't already know, uh, they are in alphabetical order. You can see the Alakazam is starting with an A, then we move to the Blastoise with a B, Chansey with a C, and so on and so forth. Uh, the Charizard I recently picked up uh, to complete this set, I think maybe three or four months back, and I've been meaning to make this video, uh, and here it is coming out in mid-November. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is a very nice nine. Uh, I paid a thousand bucks for it, plus shipping and fees for taxes and whatnot. Uh, then we got the Clefairy, then we got the Gyarados, then we got the Hitmonchan, then we have the Machamp. Uh, I sold the Machamp to a fellow named Roger in uh, Ireland, and I didn't have this for the longest time. I think this is the actual last card of all of these that I purchased. I think I got this maybe two months back uh, because he saw it on one of my videos and it was a base set uh, 1999 to 2000 and uh, he wanted to buy it. And I said yes without remembering that it was base set 1999 to 2000. So I had to give him the one from my personal collection because I did say that I would sell it to him. Uh, and then I had to buy this one for more than I sold him that card for. Uh, Magneton. Not much to say about that Pokemon. Mewtwo, everyone loves Mewtwo. Uh, one of the more valuable ones in the set. We got a Ninetales. Uh, I actually pulled one out of a box recently, so that's been sitting over there because I got it graded. Uh, yeah, so there's a Ninetales. I might switch that out, who knows. Poliwrath. Uh, got the Raichu. The Venusaur. And I'm also, if you're new to the channel, I am collecting all of the non hollows from base set first edition in PSA 9. That does it for the base set. Let's get over to jungle, and I do have it in first edition. Uh, I could have completed the uh, unlimited set many times over, but I decided to just do the first editions for these two, and then obviously base set two doesn't have any first editions. There's no base set two in the Japanese side of things either. If uh, you guys find that weird, I do too. Because uh, usually we don't really get too many English exclusive sets. Most of the time, Japan gets more stuff than we do over here. Uh, we got the Pinsir. Uh, we got the Scyther. This card I paid quite a bit for during the, that's on the case, um, but you can see the reflection of it twice. That's how you know it's on the case. Um, or really the reflection one time. Uh, I paid, I think, $900 for this card during the hype of everything. Uh, but some of these, most of these actually, I graded myself. You've probably seen them in some of the return videos. This card was pulled from PokerRev's channel on my behalf. I bought a jungle pack off of his channel, I think for 300 bucks. I bought into a box break and I got the victory belt. Was hoping for a 10 on it, but oh well. Then we got the Bioplume and the Wigglytuff. The Wigglytuff is actually pretty hard to grade, much like the Snorlax. Next up, we get into the Fossil set. This might be a long video. 
Actually, let's get into what just came back from uh, what I got in the mail today. So I got these two stickers, or these Merlin sticker packs, thrown in with this Gem Mint Tauros. Uh, really cool Lugia on the back there from 1999 Poker Set. So this was $25. I actually had one more of these, but I opened it up. Uh, but yeah, this is 25 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. There's this guy selling a bunch of these. Just a one mystery slab, but it's going to be guaranteed 9.5 at least. And it's just poker cards. I think it's a pretty good deal for 25 bucks to get three Merlin sticker packs and a poker card. Uh, then I got this from Pokemon DNA. If you didn't know, DNA is the editor for TCA Gaming. You should go check out uh, Pokemon DNA on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, I got this for like 16 bucks. Pretty darn stoked off of that on one of his auctions. Uh, I just picked up this Mew from my buddy Kelly. Uh, and then I also won an auction for another one. So I have another copy coming in the mail right now from Probstein Auction Houses uh, or Auction House. So pretty stoked. I'm going to have two of these in the collection. Then I got these three back in the mail. Uh, I got PSA 9s all around. Uh, which is a bummer for one of my friends who bought three of my packs and I let him choose whichever ones he wanted and he got all eights. So it really goes to show you, these are all from the same box, um, that the eights came from and he got kind of screwed there. <laughs> uh, but you never know what kind of grader you're going to get. Next we go into the fossil set. That was a nice little break from the hollow sets that I'm showing you. We got the ditto. We got the probably the most expensive one of the bunch, the Dragonite. I, I graded that myself and was very happy with it. Uh, I think I paid 50 bucks to get this one graded because I thought it had a shot at the 10. Gengar, probably the second most valuable card in the set. Haunter, Hitmonlee, and once again, these are all in alphabetical order. Another H card, Hypno. Kabutops, Lapras, very expensive in a 10 if you can get it. Uh, I think it's well, maybe $1,500, $2,000 card. Muck, Raichu, and Zapdos. I did have the Zapdos from the Cosmic theme deck, uh, or sorry, the Thunderstorm theme deck with the Cosmic Hollow pattern, uh, but I needed to replace it with this one so that it wasn't from a theme deck. I didn't want any of these from theme decks. So what's funny is the base set and jungle set have 16 hollows. Fossil set has 15 hollows, and then base set two has 20 hollows. So to actually pull a Charizard from this set is a is quite a bit harder than pulling it from base set. Uh, but man, base set two just sparkles. I pulled this from a pack myself on the channel. If you go in, into the search engine and click in base set two pack opening on my channel, you will find it. We got the Blastoise with a little swirl on the top there. We got the Chansey. Then we got the Charizard. Look at that swirl right there. Really nice placement. It looks like he's blowing that swirl. Clefable with a swirl. You'll notice that uh, base set two definitely has quite a bit of swirls in it. I think maybe half of my cards have swirls on them. Gyarados, if there's a swirl, it's pretty hard to find because it's a dark card. We got the Hitmonchan with the swirl. We got the Magneton with the swirl. We got the Mewtwo. Nitto King, Nitto Queen with a swirl, Ninetales, swirl it up, Pidgeot, there's another swirl, Poliwrath, Raichu, lovely swirl on the top as well, then we got the Scyther with a tiny bit of a swirl going on, Venusaur, of course no swirl on the Venusaur, he covers up most of the card, Wigglytuff, nice swirl. And then the Zapdos to finish off base set two. And then the last set that I have completed. Uh, I thought about completing other sets, but these ones kind of just happened, you know? Well, the first three were purposeful, uh, but base set two and Neo Discovery were kind of on accident. Uh, I just had graded lots of these cards in nines and decided not to sell them. Uh, so there's the Espeon Fortress in a Gem Mint 10. I need that in a nine, so... If anybody's really willing to buy this from me and trade uh, theirs <laughs> with it, I'd like to get a 9 and some cash for this Gem Mint 10. Hitmon Top, Houndoom, Houndour, uh, nice swirl 
on the back of his neck there. Kabutops, I love this artwork. It's basically like a water fossil scyther. Magnemite. Politoed. Polyrath. Got a scissor. Got the Smeargle. I sold this recently in a PSA 9 first edition for $300. Pretty expensive card, actually. Tyranitar. And then the Umbreon. Look at that. I had to pull it out of my case. Uh, I have a case with a bunch of Umbreons in it just for this video. Unknown. Ursaring. Pretty cheap card, actually. Not too expensive. You'd think Wobbuffet would be a little bit cheaper, but it's actually more expensive than that uh, Ursaring for some reason. Uh, and then we got the Yanma, which if you get it in PSA 10, um, is a four-figure card. Pretty expensive. Maybe even five-figure if you can find it. Uh, but that's it for the video, everybody. It was a quite a bit uh, of a longer video than we're used to here on the channel. Uh, but let's go ahead and open up one of these Merlin packs for the finish, shall we? Really wishing to get a uh, couple hollow hollows from this. I'm trying to look for my scissors. Here we go. Yeah, I opened one off camera last night and didn't get any uh, any hollows. So really hoping to get one or even two from one pack. Man, it is not it's not coming through there. Here we go. Just putting it up to the light to make sure you can see her. Hold on, you can kind of see that where it is located in there all right still no good they're not the easiest things to open pikachu's on the back of like all of them so don't go ahead and think that that's pikachu right there let's go ahead and peel the front off it's not looking like we're gonna get any hollows in this one venomoth sand shrew nittle king and if you think that they're off center they're not there's actually a sand slash that goes like this they're combined together and a voltorb so a pretty terrible pack right there uh, i'm gonna go ahead and open up the last one i actually bought 10 more of these too so they are on their way and i'm gonna probably open up all 10 on the channel all at once because why not all right we got plenty of space there Yeah, might as well make the video even longer. These are stickers. They definitely stick. Okay, we definitely got one this time around. And it looks like one might have stuck to the front. Hopefully it's not a glitter. Darn, it is a, it is a Pikachu glitter card. Maybe I'll be able to put it back on, but unlikely. That is a shame. Darn. So there's a silver glitter and there's a gold glitter. The gold glitter is a little bit... Harder to obtain. But yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to put this back on perfectly. I'll try to do that off camera sometime, but awesome. Finally getting a pack with some, some shiny stuff. We got the Metapod. We got the Meowth. Nitto King. No, sorry. Queen, Slowbro, and Bellsprout. Nice Meowth there. Does have like a little issue there at the top. Yep, right there. That's a bummer. Oof. All right, everybody, let me know your thoughts on the video and have a great day. Peace out.